Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Lone Wolf 902. Today's video, I want to talk about One Tigress products. And we've got a lot of it out here on the table, alright? So, today's video is mainly going to be about the One Tigress Iron Wall Hot Tent, which here I've got two, and then I've also got the mesh inners for both of those tents, and then I also have a smoky hut, okay? The reason why I got Smoky Hut is uh, we're, we're going to talk about that in a little bit because there's a very interesting piece of information that has to go along with these three tents. Now, if you already own a One Tigress Iron Wall, I have the old version and I have the new version, okay? That's the whole purpose of this video. So, One Tigress has sent me a ton of new gear, loads of new gear, and as soon as I got the gear out, I noticed something very, very important, okay? Very important. So, let's get these tents set up, and then we'll we'll set them up first, and I'll show you guys the differences, and then we'll kind of come back over to the table and wrap it up as we usually do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the iron walls set up. Uh, one thing I'll mention, the, the packaging I got going on here. So, they sent me the mesh inner of the new iron wall in this plastic bag. Um, this is not the packaging that it comes in. This is from an old One Tigress tarp that I got. And this is, I don't remember what they sent in this bag, but I've repurposed it for another mesh inner. Uh, so some of the packaging is just store packaging, you know. Uh, but these stuff sacks, these are the actual stuff sacks that the tents come in. And all the guy lines and the pegs and everything are in there. So pay no attention to these three pieces of packaging because it's just something that I've kind of put together myself. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and set up two iron wall tents. And I'll show you guys the main differences because that's what this video is about. The main differences because some of you are going to be shocked with some of the differences. And some of you may not even notice the differences, okay? So very important that these tents are not compatible. I'll say that again, they are not compatible. Let's get them set up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so here we have both of the iron wall tents set up. This one right here in this almost kind of dark brown material is the new iron wall. And the one back here in the forest green is the old iron wall, okay? So that's probably the first noticeable difference is the color. Now. This tent is dirty, so pay no attention to the scuffs and whatnot down here. I accidentally drug it through the dirt, so it is a little dirty right now. We'll have to wash that off. Hopefully it'll rain today, clean it all off. So, like I was saying, new, old, okay? So the color is the, the main difference right off the bat. Now, this tent, being the new one, they did add these adjustable guy outs on the side when you set up the tent. So there, it's backed off. Now you can simply pull the cord through and tighten up the tent. So that was one thing that I did mention to One Tigress that these are excellent. When they came out with the Fortify tent, I believe, I mentioned how it would be awesome to have these on the hot tents. Because this fabric, when it does get windy and wet, there is a certain degree of stretch and kind of relaxation in the fabric. And you, you want to guy these out as well to give it its full form. I'm not going to set those up today though. Um, so having these adjusters on the bottom all the way around the tent makes it super easy especially when you have a wood stove in here to just come out and just tighten it up a little bit really easy so the old iron wall does not have these adjusters okay it just has loops you put the peg in draw it out put it in the ground so this one has an advantage over kind of tightening up the tent as you use it if you're out for two or three days so here on both tents, they have the stove jack in the same location. I'm not gonna go ahead and put the stove jack in the tents today because I'm not actually gonna be placing a stove. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and undo the Velcro, roll the door back so you can kind of see where they're positioned easier on camera. Uh, like I said, they're both in the same location. They have the same type roll up, toggle it, and the, the same stove jack does fit in there. So you can buy the actual one Tigress branded jack and Velcro it in there. They both fit on this tent and the new one and the Smoky Huts. So one jack fits the whole line of tents. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll this back real quick so you guys can kind of see it on camera. All right, so now that I got the stove jack openings open, you can see that one is open, rolled up with the same toggle. This one back here is also rolled open, toggled back in the same location. Another thing that is the same with these tents, these kickstand vents up here, 
You can close that with a little Velcro kickstand arm. There's one on both sides. Same thing with the old tent. It has a kickstand Velcro arm. They both open the same operation. Tents have the same guy outs around the sides of the tent. This tent, that tent both has them. Both doors open the same way. It's a D-shaped door, they roll back. You can close them, you can open them very easily. And I'll show you with the doors open. All right, so here I've got the new door open and we've also got the old tent door open there in the background. Very similar, same operation, same toggles. But here's the first difference. This tent, the new version, does not have a rubberized sealed zipper, okay? It has this flap that comes over top of the zipper all the way up, creating a generous rain flap so no water is going to run down on the zipper. So it's just a regular cloth zipper. There's no rubber seal on it at all. Now coming over to the old iron wall, this tent has the same rain flap that comes up over the zipper. Nothing's going to run down into the zipper. However, it has the rubberized zipper. So this has that rubberized weather guard that basically blocks a ton of rain. I mean, I've never had these tents leak. I've never had water come over this vent, this little flap. It's a, it's a good two and a half inches. So there's really nothing coming in, but it is a noticeable difference that this is a rubberized weatherproof zipper and the new version does not have the weatherproof zipper. All right, so let's talk about the mesh inners because both of these tents do come with half mesh inner tents. So here, and like I said, this packaging is not how it comes packaged. It's just what I've basically repacked it as. Uh, so here I have the new mesh inner, and then here I have the old mesh inner. And this is the part that is not compatible with these tents at all. No way, it's not happening, okay? These are not compatible. I can't use the old one in the new tent and I can't use the new one in the old tent, okay? So they're not compatible with each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and set both of them up, the old and the new, and then I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the main difference. All right, guys, it is extremely hot out today, wow. Uh, so here I am in the old iron wall tent and I've got the mesh inner installed. Uh, this is where the two tents, like I was saying, are completely different, okay? so. Starting off with the mesh inner, the door is on this side, okay? That poses a major problem with these tents. And when I first received my iron wall, this guy, uh, I had my ammo can stove. So I put my stove in here and I noticed the door unzips. I'll go ahead and unzip it. As you can see, it unzips only that way. So you have to go on this side of the pole to get inside of the mesh inner. That's a major, major problem for safety, for ease of access, for just a number of reasons. It makes it really, really difficult to get in the mesh inner. And I actually did bring out a wood stove to better show this because it just, you kind of have to have a stove there to understand how hard it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the stove put in here and kind of show you guys what's going on here. All right, so like I was saying, I got the stove in here. The mesh inner is unzipped. Uh, and there is a flaw with this that I'll point out in a little bit. And one tigress did fix that once I kind of showed them what was going on. And I showed them this. And an interesting thing with this is when I was talking to one tigress, they, they were shocked that it was on the side because I guess it was actually designed to go on the other side. And somehow between launch and design and manufacturing, it accidentally got put on that side. So with the new one, it's on the other side. And I want to show that to you in a bit, but... This is the problem with the stove, okay? So here's my stove. If I wanna to go to bed, I literally, I have to crawl over the stove. Now there's no pipe, pretend there's a pipe there, okay? I have to come extremely close, just like this, and I've done it before, and it's not easy, it's not comfortable, but I have to crawl over top of the stove to get inside of the tent. So here you can see I'm inside of the mesh inner. I'm laying down. It, it's very dangerous to come over and around that. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna look at this and say, well, why don't you turn the stove? It doesn't fit, okay? And you can have a smaller stove. You can have a stove this long, you know, like really, really short. I still can't, I can't get to the door to open it to put wood in. 
I can't turn it because that changes the, the spot where the pipe goes and then it puts the stove closer to the mesh. And if you turn it the other way, it does the same with the tent wall. It puts it really close to the tent. So you really want it located away from the walls to safely operate, okay? So right now I'm in the mesh inner. If I woke up in the middle of the night and I wanna put wood in there, I literally have to get up onto my knees. I can reach around here cause this is loose. And this is kind of a design flaw that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about in a minute. But I can reach over here, open up my stove, put wood in there, go ahead, close the door and go back to sleep. That is a, just, it, it's too much work. Now let's say it's morning time or I have to get up for a, a bathroom break and I need to get out of the tent. This is where things are really difficult. So I literally have to wait till the stove dies down so it's not as hot. And I've got to crawl over the stove just to get out, okay? That's a huge problem. It, it just, it doesn't work, all right? So like I was saying, you can twist and turn the stove. If I were to keep this centralized and if I was to turn it, you can see that's like inches away from the mesh. It's gonna burn the mesh. You could do the same thing the other way, but then you can't open the door so there's no point and it's too close to the tent wall. Okay, so now the stove's out of the way. Another key difference with this mesh inner versus the other mesh inner. Here you can see, well, first of all, it, it's a flat top, okay? So this does not go all the way to the top. There is a flat portion here, which is kind of nice because you can put stuff up top. It's, it's kind of make, makes for like a, an organizer. I can put my toque, my, my mittens in the wintertime if they're wet. I can put them up there and they'll dry, all right? Problem is you can't zip it down without it pulling down, okay? So one mod that I made was I have a flashlight holder that straps to the center pole. I stitched on a piece of cordage here and I put my handlebar mount, which basically what it is like a GoPro mount for a camera. I clamped that to the pole and then I put the loop over top of that to hold this up tight against the pole. So then you could freely go ahead and zip it up and down. So that is a mod that I did make. And one tigress listened to me on that because the new mesh inner, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, completely alleviates all those problems, okay? So other than those things that I showed you, it is a very, very nice tent. I do use this a lot. It is filthy dirty right now with ash from burning softwood. Uh, it, it, it's treated me very, very well and I refuse to get rid of it just because I love it so much. It's been with me in a number of different places. It's been through all kinds of weather, snow, rain, wind, sun, whatever. It's been everywhere and it's done very, very well as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys the other, the, the version two iron wall and the differences with that mesh inner. And I am drenched in sweat right now. It is so hot in here. So let's do that. Let's zip this up and let's head on over to the other tent. All right, guys, so coming over to the new iron wall tent, it, uh, I'm in the shade right now, so it's quite a bit cooler, which is really nice. Um, you can already see that the mesh inner is totally different, okay? It is still this green material. Um, now, the, the main difference is two, actually. Uh, one, it goes all the way to the top in the shape of a pyramid. So it literally goes up to the top of the tent. It hooks on with a hook and it has an adjuster so you can pull it tight, kind of like the adjusters on the outside of the tent. So that makes it really easy to get it pitched and get it tight. It also gives you way more headroom inside because it goes right to the top. It also allows you to zip up and down because when you pull the zipper down, it's hooked to the top. So it's not gonna pull that down. Also, it's not hooked to the sides of the wall, okay? The other tent has four points. I believe it's four, one, two, no, maybe five. Maybe five points that hook to the tent wall with these little black grommet toggle type pieces and that's what holds the the top of the mesh inner up and in its place okay so that can cause issues with pulling in on the tent if you do move around inside of the mesh inner and you happen to pull the fabric it can actually pull on the walls which isn't really a, a good design but i haven't had any issues with that so just want to mention it um, now this bathtub floor it does have one two three four five vertical stays i believe they're pieces of aluminum that are in the bottom of the the corners so that actually gives it three dimensional bathtub floor and then there's hooks and adjusters on all of those points to the mesh inner the other mesh inner to the old tent 
only has shock cord, so you hook it on to all the corners, and that's what gives it its form factor. This one is fully adjustable. You can pull the adjusters in or out, whatever you need to do. Now, you guys just saw the zipper all the way up, way up to the top, it opens. It opens this way. So this is where One Tigress fixed that issue. You can see it now gains ac access to the other side, which would mean the wood stove would go right here. So let's get the wood stove in here and let's show you guys how that works. All right, so here we've got the same wood stove placed exactly where it would need to go if the chimney pipe was on going up and out of the tent. I'm in the tent right now, so I could just go ahead, unzip, one hand operation, open it up, jump on inside. And I do have to say that I believe, and it might just be because of the, the vertical walls with that, that, that little piece of aluminum or metal in there, it almost feels as if this mesh inner is actually larger. I don't know, I can't confirm that at this time because I haven't taken any measurements, but I feel as if there's a lot more room in here, okay? So let's roll this back and get it out of my face. Toggle it over here. Very nice, generous toggle, by the way. So you can get that toggled very easy. Now, let's say I'm in here, and this is really big in here. <laughs> I've used this tent a few times, but I, I haven't actually gone in the old one and the new one back to back like I am right now. And this is massive, holy, wow. Okay, so <laughs> that's the first difference. Huge, I'll mention for being inside of it. Um, now, I can gain access to the stove. I can get in and out of the tent freely. So if I'm laying down sleeping, I can just roll over, unzip, I can lean out, I can open up the stove door, really simple, add some wood, go ahead, close the door, and then I can lay back down and zip the mesh shut if I needed to. I can lay here and I've got my glass window here. I can kind of get some ambient lighting. Very, very nice. So that's the huge difference between these mesh inners. One, it goes all the way to the top, like a pyramid. So you can one hand operate this zipper without the top caving in. And two, the zipper is on the other side. Okay, those are the two major upgrades with the, the two differences or the, the two style tents. This is more for hot tenting in fall, okay? So if you do need the mesh inner with a wood stove, this is going to be the tent that's gonna work for you. If you do need the mesh inner and no stove, the other tent would work absolutely perfectly fine, okay? So having said that, uh, I believe, uh, I, I could say that this has replaced the old one. Um, I don't believe they, they market the old one anymore. They'll probably have some old stock that they'll sell off and get rid of and then fully launch this, which this has been fully launched to, to filming date. So if you guys have an old versus new One Tigress iron wall tent, these are the differences. Now there is also one more very important difference, okay? So if you guys do have both tents, uh, both old and new, and you may have a smoky hut as well, do not mix your center poles, okay? They are not the same height. Gonna say it right now. This center pole right now on the new One Tigress iron wall fits the new smoky hut, okay? If I take this center pole out, and I wanna use it in the old iron wall tent, it won't work. This pole is longer. The other pole to the iron wall is shorter by about two or three inches, I believe. So these poles are not compatible. So do not mix your poles and go camping, okay? You will be very, very upset, all right? So I can't speak on the old smoky hut. Um, well, I can, what I'll do is I'll get it out and I'll, I'll kind of look at the, the pole differences before we go to the tabletop review and, and kind of wrap that up. But I will say, do not mix this pole with the old iron wall. It won't work. All right, guys, so coming outside of the tent because it is too hot to be inside of there right now. Uh, continuing on what I was talking about, about having the mesh inner and time of the year. If you were to use these tents, both either the, the new one or the old iron wall in winter, you don't really need a mesh inner. So they both work perfectly fine with the wood stove because you can orient yourself wherever you want to sleep, okay? These mesh inners, are pretty much fixed where they attach to, okay? Now, the old mesh inner on the old tent, that it, it can only go in one spot, okay? Because it has those tabs up here on the wall that it has to hook into. So it can only go in one spot. Now, 
this mesh inner. There are tabs on the outside of the wall. They're right about here. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side that it has to hook into. You don't have to hook it onto that. You could run a peg outside like I've got now and hook it directly to the peg, which means you could actually turn the mesh inner so I could have the door kind of facing this way, okay? So you do have the option to twist it. Now it's not gonna pitch 100% proper because that corner to the mesh inner will be up here. So it, it, would, it would be able to pitch the other way, which is kind of an added benefit. Um, but like, like I was saying, if you were in fall and you needed the mesh inner to protect you from bugs, but it was cold enough to use a wood stove, this one will be much easier to get inside of. The old tent is very, very difficult to get into with a wood stove. So that's why I was trying to talk about fall, winter, and whatnot. That's kind of where I was going with that talk. Okay, one last thing. Now that I've kind of said that you can rotate the mesh inner, uh, I, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, well, show us. Uh, and now that I've got the tent set up, I might as well just show you because it's, it's kind of, it is important. So I did go ahead and rotate the mesh inner, okay? You do need additional pegs because it doesn't quite reach the points where it's supposed to guy out to. So I used one, two extra pegs to put in the ground just to get it so it, uh, it guys out. So there are three points that do hook up to the, the factory points and they need two additional pegs to put it in the ground, okay? Now, the stove is exactly where it needs to be. You'll notice I've, I've got it turned, okay? Getting inside of the tent to go back into what we'll call the living area, you do need to climb over the stove, okay? I would rather do that than have to climb over the stove to get into bed, okay? That is a, an important factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all the way back. So if I were to come inside of the tent, I would have to skinny around the stove not a major deal for me, uh, it may be for some other people, but I'm back inside of the tent. I usually set my chair up inside of the tent so I'd be able to sit here. The problem with that is I wouldn't be able to easily feed the stove. Now, I do have the option to turn the stove. However, if I do that, I'm not gonna be able to feed it while I'm in bed, okay? Now, if I am sitting here and I do need to get into my bedding area, I'm getting tired, it's time to go to sleep. I can still get inside very easily. Okay, unzip that, unzip this, and I now have a lot more room to actually get inside of the mesh inner, and I can easily feed the stove from laying down inside, okay? So this is another option to set up the mesh inner. You can rotate it. I could have rotated it the other way. Of course, you can't use the stove jack in that case, but uh, you can rotate it and kind of customize it a little bit more. The old tent, the, the mesh inner is fixed where it is, okay? Because it does have those tabs on the walls that it has to hook into. So I'm gonna get out of here for the last time. Uh, I'm gonna tear these down and I'm gonna show you the differences of the poles and I'll kind of show you the mesh inners laid out on the ground, some of the key features and differences as well. So a really quick look at the old mesh inner. Right off the bat, you can see it doesn't come to a point. So these are the little toggles I was telling you about they hook onto the inside of the tent and that's what gives it its form factor for pitching, whereas the other one comes to that pyramid point. So no bathtub style 3D floor. It just has this simple shock cord with the little hook. You hook that on and it basically gives it its form factor. It works, it works very well. It's just that is very different from this. Now, also having a look at the center poles, like I was mentioning earlier, if I go ahead and put these at the same length in the palm of my hand, you can see that they are not the same length, okay? So this short one, if I hold that like that, you could clearly see one is three to four inches shorter than the other. So this short pole only goes to the old tent, we'll get that out of the way. And this longer pole goes to both the new iron wall tent it also fits in the smoky hut tents okay so that's what i'm talking about about not getting these mixed up if you happen to have a new iron wall and an old iron wall tent do not get these poles mixed up because the tent will not pitch properly okay but you can use this in your smoky hut so if you happen to have a smoky hut and you misplaced the pole or maybe the pole somehow got damaged you do have a pole that will work okay so those are the main differences between the tents uh, I'm not gonna get into specs about weight and size and measurements and this and that because these tents, 
I want the video to be useful for many months, many years, okay? So if somebody comes back and watches this video, it'll show you where these tents are at today, the filming date, okay? They might come out with a new iron wall next month that's different, and I don't like, I don't like putting specs that kind of define what the weight of the tent is, because like I said, two months later they could change it, it could be lighter, it could be heavier. Or they can go ahead and change the diameter, it might get bigger, it might get smaller. So jump on onetigers.com, go under the Black Orca tab, and it'll give you all the specs, all the information on this stuff, okay? So that's the reason why I'm not gonna get into the whole specs. All right guys, so hopefully that kind of clears up any questions about the old iron wall, the new iron wall, uh, the mesh inners like I've got here. Uh, this is the pole for the new iron wall. I have it out ready to go because like I showed you guys, I do have the Smoky Hut and I've also got the Smoky Hut mesh inner. Uh, I was gonna set it up in this video, but I don't really see the point because I kind of went over the pole section, um, just showing that one's longer than the other. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna start a different video because I'm gonna be out in the yard all day filming tent videos and whatnot. Uh, if you are interested in the new Smoky Hut, I do have the Smoky Hut, the mesh inner. I've also got the old Smoky Hut and we're gonna go ahead and set those up. And uh, if you're interested in that, check out that video in my gear uh, review playlist, whatever I named it, I can't even remember now. I think it's gear testing and, and uh, gear reviews. So that's all I got. If you guys have any questions on these two tents, old iron wall, old mesh and new iron wall and new mesh, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section and I'll get back to you.